In this video, we will simulate a series parallel circuit using LT Spice and also uh, perform uh, the experiment on an actual breadboard uh, in the lab. So first what we're going to do is uh, simulate the circuit. We're going to record all the uh, voltages and then we'll do the same thing on the breadboard and compare our results. So here's our circuit. We've got a DC power supply of 16 volts and we've got an R1, an R2, R3, R4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have nine resistors with different values and we're going to measure the uh, voltage across all of these resistors and uh, then we'll perform the same experiment on an actual uh, breadboard. All right, so let's begin the simulation. Uh, I've got a transient simulation for one millisecond. Um, and the way you set that up is go to simulate, edit simulation command, choose transient and stop time for one millisecond and hit OK. And then we want to run the simulation. All right, so you can see here, now we've got a, a waveform viewer. Uh, and if you look on the horizontal axis, uh, this is uh, time, and it's going up to one millisecond, which is what we specified. And here is the actual circuit itself. And it's really very, uh, very easy to do. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our cursor on the left side of R1 and click and drag to the right side of R1 and you see the probe will fill in uh, black there just like it filled in uh, red on the other side of the resistor and release and we can see that this is uh, 3.30 uh, volts and if you want to get an even more uh, precise reading, you can actually add a, uh, if you right click and add a cursor. So let's attach a cursor. That brings up this window here and you can get even uh, a more accurate reading. So this is 3.309. So I'll round that up to 3.31. All right, so we're gonna put 3.31 volts. So 3.31 volts for the first resistor. So I'll close this out and left click inside this window to make sure it's selected and click on the cut button and click on here to delete. All right, so we'll come down to our uh, window that has the actual circuit uh, and uh, select this window by left clicking and we're going to do the same thing. So let's measure uh, left click on R2, drag and release and this looks like 12.69 uh, uh, so this time I'm not gonna add the cursor because um, I can read this pretty accurately as Go back here, make sure I've selected the waveform window and I've got the scissors icon. So I'm going to left click and delete that. Left click down here to select the uh, circuit window. Do the same thing for R3. This is also 12.69.
select this window, delete, select this window, measure R, VR4. This is uh, 4.60. So again, I don't really need to attach that cursor. I can get this to uh, hundredths uh, precision. So 4.60 volts. And delete that. Now R5, R6, R7, they're all in parallel, so they're going to have the same voltage, but I'll, I'll do them individually anyway. Um, now this is 421, about 422 millivolts. So that'll be 0 0.42. Volts. And the same thing for R6. Four hundred and twenty two millivolts. R7, four hundred and twenty two millivolts. Measure the voltage across R8. This is looks like 7.437, uh, so we'll round that to 7.44. And finally, uh, we'll measure the voltage across R9. And this is right at 228 uh, millivolts. So we can round that to 230 millivolts. So 0 0.23 volts. Okay, so those are our results for um, LT spice. So you can see that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, we're just clicking and dragging across each resistor. Um, so left click on one side, hold down your mouse button, drag to the right side and release. All right, so now what we want to do is compare this to what's on the actual breadboard in the lab. Now we're going to make the measurements on the breadboard and we'll compare these measurements to what we got from the LT SPICE simulation. So first off, notice that we have the DC power supply and it is set to 16 volts. We're bringing in the power to the breadboard here into these posts. Then from these posts, we bring the power into the rails here, and then uh, we connect from the rails to our actual series parallel circuit. So let's go ahead and measure those nine voltages. VR1 is going to be across resistor 1, so I'll go ahead and measure that and we'll observe what we get on the multimeter. So we're gonna make sure the multimeter is set to DC volts, okay? And that we have our, uh, our, our probes plugged into uh, these two places here. Okay, so let's measure VR1.
3.32 volts. So that's 3.32 volts for VR1. VR2, 12.76 volts. VR3, 12.76 volts. VR4, 4.63 volts. VR5, 0 0.42 volts. VR6, 0 0.42 volts. VR7, 0 0.42 volts. VR8, 7.47 volts. And finally, VR9, 0 0.23 volts. Okay, so now let's compare what we got with LT Spice. Okay, so these were the values we just measured on the breadboard. So we got 3.32 volts on the breadboard, 3.31 volts in LT Spice, 12.76 volts on the breadboard, 12.69 volts on LT Spice, 4.63 volts for VR4, 4.60 volts for VR4, 0.42 volts versus 0.42 volts for VR5, 6, and 7. 7.48 volts versus 7.44 volts and VR9 0 0.23 volts versus 0 0.23 volts. So as you can see our uh, results match up very very closely uh, between uh, what we got on the actual hardware versus what we got in the uh, software simulation. Okay so that will conclude uh, this video and I hope that it's been helpful.